so this is problem number 52. An insurance company sells a one-year automobile policy with a deductible of 2. The probability that the insured will incur a loss is 0 0.05. If there is a loss, the probability that a loss of amount n is k over n for n equals 1 through 5 and k a constant. These are the on only possible loss amounts and no more than one loss can occur. Determine the net premium for this policy. And here the net premium is going to be the expected payout of um, of the random variable that represents uh, the payout of the insurance company. Okay, so that means that we have to know what the probability of the amount is going to be. So we have to know this, but we know that um, the probability of n equals n given loss times the probability of a loss is equal to this. So, um, and we're actually given this, and we're given the enough information for us to find what this is. So let's figure it out. So we have that uh, the probability of a loss is 0 0.05. We have that the probability of the amount being n given that there is a loss is um, k over n. Uh, da, 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 da. So we have to figure out what, so it's k over n for n equals 1 all the way to 5. So we have to figure out what k is. So we know that there are the only possibilities of the amount for a loss is just 1 through 5, no more. So we know that if we were to add 1 over n plus 2 over n all the way up to 5 over n, this is going to be the entire probability space for that probability, which means that this is going to equal to 1. Oh, I apologize. This is not the way it's supposed to be written. Um, it is k over 1 plus k over 2 plus all the way up to k over 5. Sorry for the confusion. So we have to figure out what the value of k, and we can very easily solve for k in this case. So we were to factor out k, we'd have 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth. And all of this is equal to 1. If we find the um, least common denominator for this, we realize that it's going to be 60. And this is going to be 60 plus 30 plus 20 plus 15 plus 12. And all of this adds up to... 137 over 60 and all of this is equal to 1. So from that we know that k should equal to 60 over 137. So now we can go back to where we were and we can input our new information. So in here we know that um, it's going to be 60 over 137 n. That's going to be our probability um, of a given amount of loss, given that there is a loss. So this means that our probability of a loss n equal to n is going to be, if we multiply these out, that's going to give me, let me see, 3 over 137n. Good. Okay. So now we can actually get to start working on what we actually need. So we're looking for the expected value of x, right? Well, it turns out that because there's a deductible, so the deductible of 2, we know that um, x is going to be 0 
if the amount of loss is less than or equal to 2, or it's going to be n minus 2 if the amount of loss is greater than 2. Okay. In this case, the insurance company is not going to pay. That's why it's 0. Alrighty. So then that means that the amount of losses that we are interested in is 3, 4, and 5. So we know that our expected value is the sum of the from n equals to 3 all the, all the way to 5 of n minus 2, right? n minus 2 times the probability of n equals to n. So times 3 over 137n. Sorry for being kind of messy. Alrighty. Um, if we were to solve that, we can very easily just, you know, go through it um, by hand, but since I already did that, the answer should be 0 0.0314. Alrighty, that's it.